Mane vana se ma Pen Dream TV. Pen Dream TV die o se dem yopo. You are most welcome to Pen Dream TV, the only channel that brings you the best and latest updates in politics. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell for more updates, like and also share to other members to watch as well. You can also leave a comment after watching or send us a voice note on our WhatsApp number, which is 0277-128777. Thank you. A political analyst or a political scientist has also come out with a powerful analysis on how the MPP behaves, saying they are dangerous people if care is not taken they send us into distraction and doom with that much i do i would like you to join me listening to what he said into detail he also compared nana opokwajima to their candidate saying there is no candidate in mpp that they will choose to match his, her type with that much i do i would like you to join me listening to what he said into detail thank you please do subscribe hit the notification bell so that you'll be the first to receive any notification from us. Thank you. It was it bothered the detailed report bothered on national security and therefore refused the media foundation for West Africa to request. Then they made a U-turn. But the timing of the U-turn is suspect. It was at the peak of the conversation on the revelation by the Member of Parliament for North Constituency that indeed a Brian Champ was a great minister is buying 60% stake. That's Rock City Hotel. A hotel he owns 100%. Is buying 60% stake in some very six uh, hotels. It was at the peak of that, Labour threatening to go on strike, that the president made a U-turn and put the whole national security reasons for denying the request of uh, publishing the details, full details, of releasing the full details of SML. We are talking to a political scientist or a political analyst on this. We'll talk briefly about Dr. Mahmoud Baumier's uh, campaign as well and the arrest and subsequent uh, release of uh, Mr. Hobson Adoye, Movement for Change, former you know, member of the NPP, and the serious allegation he made about the 2016 elections, which involved detonating dynamite. As we go into the election year, these are things that we should be looking at because we want a peaceful election. Did it happen? Did it not? And if it did, how do we avoid such a thing from happening? When we come back, my guest is Dr. Jonathan Asante Ochoe, a political science or political analyst, and he would help us to understand what is happening and the implications of this on our body politic. We'll be right back. Welcome back to One on One. I'm Dr. Jonathan Asante Ochoe, welcome to the show. And always, um, always the privilege because you drive all the way from Cape Coast to be here. I don't take that for granted. Yes, Thank yes. you. Thank you too. Thank you. So I want You're to start you know, with this whole SML deal and um, mm. uh, what we know so far that the president said the reasons for denying. And I just want to, you know, read the exact thing that the president said, the reasons that the president assigned to the refusal of that very uh, report, which is now available to the public. Um, the president said in their statement, Yep, he said, um, the president, this was a letter dated on the 7th of May, 2024. And in the letter, the, president, the presidency acknowledged receipt of Media Foundation for West Africa's request to have the SML deal um, a report by KPMG open. Now, what's this whole SML deal? So it was a company that was um, uh, contracted to look at, I just want to put it simply, like sealing, you know, like leakages, loopholes, within the petroleum, you know, upstream, downstream uh, 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 sector. And so, I mean, people were excited. But, per the reports, the company did absolutely nothing. Earlier reports suggested that they were paid one billion. In fact, the presidency said they were paid one billion. Now, the detailed report that has come out shows that they were paid over four, 1.4 billion for work that could have been done by the National Petroleum Authority. Now, revenue indeed went up, but per the report, KPMG says the report did not, the, the, the revenue did not go up because of SML's work, but rather because taxes were increased. I mean, it's not rocket science. If you increase taxes, naturally your reports will go up. So why is it that a company that was rejected three times by the PPA was still forced and given this contract. Who stands to benefit? And of what impact is this having on our, uh, our politics, 
on, on the presidency when it comes to corruption scandals. Dr. Jonathan uh, Asantiochi, I know I'm, I'm, I'm getting carried away because I'm being fascinated by what's mm. happening. Mm. Earlier, I heard Mr. Franklin Kujo says every crooked deal that is in the public was cooked at the Flagstaff House. I don't know what your opinion is on that. Given this, do you honestly believe that this would have gone through without the support of the presidency? A company that has been rejected three times by PPA because they just could, they didn't have, they quote, quote, capacity and experience. Well, <laughs> I can appreciate the, <laughs> your temperature level. I know. It's <laughs> rising. It's know. really rising. Because and, uh, it's heartbreaking to it me. It is. These it yeah. is. This is a country that is unable to pay its debt yeah. for the first time in so many years. I don't even remember. And uh, you see, when we're supposed to utilize the scarce resources in an optimum way that will benefit all and sundry, you see that those at the top machinate all manner of things. Look, this is heart rending. We need to condemn this in no uncertain terms. And the presidency must come clean on this. Somebody was asking me about this, uh, uh, what's it called, ghost names. And that, yes. you know, people, you know, oh, seem to... Oh, there's so many scandals, yes. you know. I, I forgot names. about that. And I said that, yeah. look, no ordinary teacher can be a ghost. Yeah. The ghost names are created by the directors, the finance officers, mm. the accountants, the CEOs of these institutions. Yeah. They create the ghost names. And yet, we worry ourselves. Yeah. Them. And so that is why I agreed with the NAT president. He was fuming and very angry speaking on top of his voice. Yeah. What else do you expect him to do? Because day in, day out, this, what is it called? Uh, the, uh, uh, the SP, special prosecutor, yeah. is stopping people's salary. You understand? And then it, 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 he finds out that, look, there are places that exist, they are doing teaching, people have been appointed to those places, but they don't have structures in place. Right. Right. So you may think that is a ghost, but that is the more reason why I feel that something of this sort, are we going to go after the individuals at SML, it can never be that something as gargantuan, as scandal as gargantuan, yeah. Yeah. you know, of this nature will not emanate from the Jubilee House. Yeah. Obviously, obviously, the finance minister should be part of this. The former finance the minister. For, sorry, the former he, finance minister. He, he and GRE, they literally handpicked this company. Yeah. You know, I said something that what the president did in terms of the reshuffling that he did is yeah. much ado about nothing. Because the current finance minister, the, the then deputy, Adua, is it sorry, sorry, who was, is now, she's now the minister of state. Right. And then you have another deputy plus substantive one, and you have elevated uh, Colonel Foriata to a so different advisor, portfolio. Even bigger than the finance so, minister. Do you get the point? Yeah. So it is still a cabal. Yes. It is still a cabal. The president cannot be exonerated in this. The vice president cannot be exonerated in this. Because sometimes I sit and ask myself, is it the case that the president feels disappointed in the vice president? Or he doesn't see that the vice president has failed him? Because this is someone that you gave reasons that you, know, you, you needed him to be your running mate. When he did not even have, when he, had, he wasn't a card bearing member of the party. It is because of his background. And the, the expertise that he was bringing on board. And you praised him. So if all this while, day in, day out, is becoming one minute, one scandal, as far as our current government is concerned, then definitely you cannot be exonerated. Yeah. None of them could easily be exculpated from this. And I think that some of these scandals, there is the need, should power change hands, for us to see as Ghanaians how we are going to recoup all these kinds of uh, you know, money that has gone you know, down the drain. The point that also we need to, we need to ask the president as a matter of agency to, to terminate, to ask GRA to terminate this particular contract. Yeah. Telling us that this contract, the report that KPMG brought, borders on national security, for which reason you're not ready to release. Yeah. To release yeah. I think it was a cock and bull, bull reason. Yeah. You see, it was a cock and bull reason. Yeah. But unfortunately, we still have people defending that. Because where we find ourselves, I listened to someone who was talking about, you see, the, we, we don't seem to know the extent of the financial quack we find ourselves. Yeah. If we did, I think that we'll be the, more angry. We'll be more angry. Yeah. We, we should be. 
Do you get, so it is just unfortunate that we we'll find ourselves, you know, and then and then president will be will be uh, uh, well, stoking but, but national security. That's quite thing. unfortunate. But here is the thing: even before the release, nobody, no action has been taken. Yes, we have not heard that. Look, okay. Even though finance minister is no longer finance minister, okay, we are yeah. withdrawing from where we have put mm -hmm. in, or anyone who worked on this. Instead, you had persons at SML, mountain platforms, and I remember one of their reps, their yeah. rep on a sister station saying um, uh, and confidently that they were not paid the billion, a billion dollars, a billion cities, mm -hmm. as stated in the president's uh, white paper. Yeah. And instead, it's even more than that. So uh, why are they so confident right in going on platforms to defend such rots when everybody else is sitting i think this morning i was i was reading a report from um, bright, bright simmons of imani and he said something about i think work that they paid that they could have paid i think five thousand dollars for they paid over some millions of dollars mm. for some work sml why why are they so confident in doing so mm. is it that we are supposed to hit the streets what are we to do to get, get them to act yeah. the, the the sml and the assigns are confident why? It's because probably the money did not get to them. Mm. You see? You mean someone else is using SML? They have been paid. Okay. Probably. But the money has not hit the account. Okay. But in terms of the accounting processes, it has been accounted that that kind of money ha gone. has been paid. Mm. So it is only when you establish a commission of inquiry, okay. that is when you'll be able to get all the facts Are they not together. in bed with it? I mean, because yes. I heard the so, CEO so, say, because of uh, Manasseh's report now, uh, next government says they will cancel their, their contract. That's, he, he was more worried about that. I didn't, then they are in bed with the government. Certainly, because if you look at, this work is just duplicitous mm -hmm. in the sense that it is a job that NPA was doing anyway. Yeah. They were never complaining. The CEO himself said that it appears duplicitous. So why that is, he doesn't know? But of course, there is a superior force ahead of him. Yeah. And that is orchestrated by the finance minister and the ministry. And all the cohorts over there. And that cannot happen without the tacit knowledge of the president and the vice president. It cannot happen. Because you are talking about your brother. And this is someone that you have forced over and over again to sack him, of which you refused. And then when everything mm. had reached the anticlimax level, yeah. the euphoria surrounding it is gone, then you say you have been relieved, only for you to elevate him it's once right. again. Yeah. And we don't really hear of him. Yeah. But as for this SML deal, it's a stinky deal yeah. that must see the light of day. It must see the light of day. I'm very sure the president has been quite consistent when it comes to things of that nature. He will not in any way initiate anything that will inure to their disadvantage. He will not especially when we are getting to the election year. And so they will find a way of treating it in a wishy-washy manner. Okay. Trust me, because since the past case, when we had not even started anything, the president write a letter, you know, uh, saw, extolling saw, the virtue of the woman. Even before and she in was the investigated. End. You see? And in the end, what happened? Yoko, they've just bastardized, rubbish the case. And when you are killed. called a clearing agent, you say, no, no, no. Why should you be given such a tag? But if you look at the scandals that have Dog. come, no wonder it is not by accident that the Ghana Integrity Initiative, the, the corruption index that came, yeah. three years in a row, you have, you, the percentage that you have had is the lowest of the incompetent Mr. Mahama that you all labeled. Yeah. So if that happens, then it means that corruption, corruption has virtually become the middle name of the government in power. Day in, day every hour, one scandal. Every minute, one scandal. Where are we going? But and this not. is a country that is hemorrhaging in terms of, 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 of our resources and revenue. Doc, then I, I, I am hesitant to ask what you want to see happen. Because it looks as if nothing would happen. I shudder. So then what? Is it left on us as citizens? It will be what very uncharacteristic of the president that something will happen. Mm. Wow. Yes. That's it will be very uncharacteristic. He should shame some of us yeah. and do something for us to see. If it is a commission of inquiry, if it is something that they ought to prosecute, yeah. then all those who, you know, are part of, of this, this machination yeah. should come to the fore and be prosecuted. He shouldn't wait for MPP to lose power 
before some other people will say that, oh, they are being harassed, they are being haunted with, with the same law, with the same court processes. That shouldn't be. Something of this nature. And, and you see, if the president is not in the know, this is the more reason why he should show integrity and leadership. First, asking for its abolition and cancellation, and then letting the matter be investigated in the law court. Okay. So I just want to share a few things that have come up uh, in respect of this SML uh, scandal. Um, Kwesi Pratt, a veteran journalist, uh, editor mm -hmm. of the Insight newspaper, described the SML uh, scandal as the mother of all scandals uh, in the scandal-ridden uh, administration of President Ekofuado. Now, since the full report was also released, I have, you know, I follow the Fourth Estate and um, Bright Simmons, and they, they have been on it from day one. And um, yes, like a point I made earlier, Fourth Estate also tweeted it and said that the significant growth, the significant growth in revenue from 2015 to 2023, except for 2017, can be attributed to the increase in the number of taxes during the period. And there were two taxes in 2015, but increased to five. And that's why the revenue went up. It is not because SML did a, a fantastic job or they were super or stellar in their uh, performance. In fact, they, they had done nothing there. Now, again, um, Fourth Estate also says that um, SML's claim, okay, so I've talked about it, that uh, it was solely responsible for the increase in petroleum revenue in the downstream. They are saying that it is false. They, were not, they did not do that. I'm looking for Bryce Simmons' uh, post on this. Well, Bryce Simmons again came, came, came uh, online and posted this. I always say Bryce Simmons doesn't speak on Kasabasaba, so when he speaks, mm. I know that he is on to something. Says that uh, there's even another one coming up, um, that they are trying to you know, do away with this one and come up with another one. So I'll go on his page on Twitter and read exactly what he wrote. Um, I have the second one. Okay, B.B. Simmons is here. So I'll just read what he said in respect of this. Um, yep. He says, fresh intel, right? Looks like as the SML cash sum started dropping, some folks at NPA said, then money passed wrong road and then started cooking something called SAMS, which is P-S-A-M-S. And says, get serious, the only thing that we got from the 1.4 billion paid SML is the automatic tank gauges. It says, SML uh, must be made to complete their installation and deliver value to Ghana. Because I think there were some stations that didn't have that electronic gauge that they were talking about. Mm -hmm. Now, their rip-off agreements must be amended to a reasonable fixed fee. And the ATGs, which is the tanks I was talking about, must be calibrated by GSA, I believe Ghana, Ghana Standard Authority, to work well. NPA should integrate and use those, not create another booty enterprise. Are you surprised that there's, you know, there are people looking at, okay, if SML go, then we will also create our own thing to, to also make some money. Are, are you surprised that this happened, like this revelation that he's putting out? Well, when Bryce Simmons speaks, he's someone <laughs> I highly respect. Yeah. Because he knows his stuff. Yeah. And he will do, you know, he will demonstrate whatever he's saying, yeah. Yeah. you know, on a board. Yeah. A PowerPoint presentation yeah. is just a remarkable figure. Yeah. So I, I, I don't need to add anything to that. Right. But what I want to say is, I think this is what uh, Manasseh said. Yeah. He said that they did not bring any contribution. No. In fact, it is not as if their work is to check diversion. Yeah. The work, your work, your mandate is not able to check diversion. It's not able to check under declaration. Yeah. Do you get the point? So. Yeah. These things border on fraud. Yeah. And if your mandate is not to do any of these, mm. then, in fact, what the CEO said is a treason. It's a duplicitous work. Right. It's much ado about nothing. And I am tempted to believe that maybe the truth out there is the fact that SML might not have received that money. Yeah. And that someone Some bigger mm. than SML is using them as a pawn. They should come clean. Hmm. Wow. But then the extent SML has also gone to prove that indeed they are working. That's why I cannot take them out. I mean, they, cannot, they are not innocent bystanders. Yes. They are active participants in this corruption. Of course. Um, you see, it is over their pay grade. Okay. That's how I, I see it. Okay. It's over so their it's like pay we're grade. using, like you said, a pawn. Yes, so they are just, just a pawn. It. That's how I see it. They, okay. they are just a pawn. Because now we created a platform... A con uh, as a conduit to make some money. Yeah. 
Now, we are using your platform to do that. Yeah. We'll of course, there is no way we'll do this ah, without making. making you benefit from it. Right, got it, got it. Do you get the point? Yes. not making you benefit from it. Mm. This borders on inflation of contract prices. It is create, loot, sit, and share. This is above the pay grade, if you asked me, of SML. So when it comes to stealing, the inflation of figures is high. Then when it comes to buying or stealing state assets, they are undervalued. They undervalued. I want to move on to yeah. the hotel issue yeah. where, uh, again, um, Member of Parliament for North One Constituents, Mr. Samuel Okujeto Ablakwa, again, whistleblowing. He's doing it like nobody. And I wonder you know, how he's able to do it because with the resources that he has, at least he's able to do this. But just imagine having to rely on you know, like us. And we're, I know we're not doing it such a great job. That's why I, I appreciate him. And then he blows the whistle on a potential state, uh, individual capture of state assets involving a certain member of parliament, minister of state, and his hotel. Taking very key hotels. I mean, we all go there, you know, the Labadi beaches, the Buzia, and whatnot. Mm. And he's looking at 60% stake. Now, without even going to the details of whether it is undervalued, that whether it's 600,000, we'll talk about even the consultants and how much they took, okay? Mm. Without sitting outside, do you even need a, 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 an expert to tell you that this is wrong and it should not happen? Let me start by quoting one of the ancient poets. And it's a renowned, you know, a refrain. All right. He whom the gods want to destroy, they first, they make, first mad. make mad. Yes, I like that quote. And that is the footpath mm. that the current government is on. Wow. And if you asked me, what they do is that they close your eyes to see things that will make you change your mind, mm. block your ears to hear the very cries of the people who gave you the mandate. Mm. All what they are doing is to lead in you to your doom. Now, when you fall, then you begin to dust yourself and then say, ah, how did I end here? Then you do an introspective and retrospective analysis of what you did. You, in terms of politics, by the time that the scales fall off your eyes, you are in opposition. Mm. You are in opposition. That is it. And so you see, government does not seem to know exactly what they are doing. Today this comes up. Tomorrow this comes up. And it appears that the entirety of the citizenry are against them. And that is why you see that the position. The very moment I saw that the citizens of this country decided to oppose the tariff on electricity, VAT on electricity... Yeah. And that emission levy, with that spontaneous force, that was when I realized that the goodwill of our government, the president, the vice president, gone. is gone. Mm -hmm. They don't have it. I mean, if you look at the reality on the ground, I asked myself, why? Yeah. And the question that the, the union asked, they you told labor them, unions. Yes. yes, they are up in and they are threatening to go on strike like... They, it would be the mother, mother of all strikes. strikes. Yes, yes. that's on. what they have threatened to do. If they go ahead so. unconditionally yeah. over this particular deal, they will see the mother of all strikes. But if Clocksack and that of TUC mm -hmm. should lay their, yeah, their tools. whatever yeah. tools, uh, I mean, you are finished. Yeah. Because the president saw that coming with the issue of the, the, the VAT mm. and that of the emission levy, and then they dropped that. Yeah. So some of, us, some of us felt that, look, the doomsaw that came, it was intentional. Mm. They want us to know that they don't have the money, but yet they don't want us to know that they will accept that as doomsaw. Mm. And it's a punishment for us not accepting the, the VAT, VAT on the electricity. Ah. So that was the punishment, mm. psychologically. So the point about this is that I think... As a nation, we have reached a frustrating level. Mm. We don't seem to know exactly what to do with our current government because is it the case that inwardly they feel they are losing their elections 
for which reason captures, yes for ooh, which reason they will ooh, want to ooh. you know put their feet on the ground so, so that, that even when they are in opposition they, they control position, they have, yes wow and state capture is not accidentally done yeah it is something that is orchestrated in the room and it is built outside don't forget this snit issue where we have even a japadier, a japadier a japadier yes, getting document. the sun there yes mm. so it is part of a whole machinery and what they want to do is that they want to be the power brokers in the future. Yeah. Determine who should be the next president. And it is going to be done in such a way that all what they will have to do is to withdraw the profit that they make from the system to reduce the strength of your currency and then the dollar will be beating the city mm. like no other. And when that happens, the ordinary citizen will come after government. Government will become unpopular. And I'm very happy the response the union, especially I think Dr. Bampo, Clarkson President, gave. Said this is pensioners fund, yeah. pensioners money. It is not government money. So government, you see, should not take it as though they own that money and they can decide to divest, you see, resources of that nature to people that they like. Let's go to the, the real destiny as well. Someone who is a cabinet minister. Yeah, one second. Um, just hang on a bit. We have to take a break. When we come back from the break, uh, Dr. Jonathan Santiago will go into the power behind the person. That's one on one. I'm not even going to say it. I'm going straight to my, <laughs> my guest, uh, Dr. Jonathan Asante uh, with me in the studio. So before the break, you're talking about, you know, the man behind this, yeah. owner of Rock City Hotel, 100% shareholder, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, says that, oh, he's not, he's not a director. He's not part of the day to day, but he's a cabinet minister. Please. Who? You see, who is Brian, 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 Echamp Brian Champon? How did he come by all this kind of wealth? wealth. Mm. What audit, you know, lifestyle mm. audit have we done? Yeah. Uh, what kind of taxes does he pay? Yeah. You see, as a nation, we are not saying that kill the golden yeah. hen yeah. that lay the golden eggs. No. We need to build our domestic capacity. Yeah. Individuals must have the opportunity to build, because uh, if I'm taking the refrain of President mm. Kufo then, say the, the private sector is the engine of growth. Right. The private sector is yeah. the engine of growth. So at this point where the Ghana Statistical Service mm. brought uh, you know, figure of 14.7 thereabout in terms of unemployment, yeah. which is more than times two of what you inherited yeah. from the incompetent from our president's administration, <laughs> as you always started yeah, them, yeah. and all your figures are in the negative, yeah. far, far worse than what you inherited. Then it, is, it looks good that you, know, you have such a, a, a private you know, individual in that fray going to create some kind of efficiency yeah. and probably more jobs so that the youth will get some jobs. But where it is coming from is worrying. Is it the case that if it were to be someone who is not a politician and a minister in the cabinet of President Akufo, yeah. would have won this bid? Yeah. Even what was the, the, the whole process tender? Yeah. Nobody they said the bidding and they presented the most the juiciest mm. uh, uh, proposal. But there is no transparency in that. So how do we even verify what you're saying? Four top hotels, 60% of that Hmm. Just around how much is it? Four point something million dollars. Yeah. Four point no. This is underestimated. Yeah. It is. It has been undervalued. Hmm. It has been undervalued, hmm. and we do not know how they arrived yeah. at that kind of conclusion. Yeah. And, uh, the point you're making about if there was somebody else who is not in cabinet mm. who came forward and said I wanted, would they have approved? Would they have approved? Would the rate have been that this low? This low. Yeah. So, I mean, a lot of questions ought to be asked, and uh, I understand where Mr. Brian, uh, Dr. Brian Champon is also vehemently opposed to the views that Mr. Blackwell, you know, has been putting out there. I mean, 
He said As well, a he's after his character. He's the no, but 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 he shouldn't I mean, personalize let's, it. Let's, but let's put. I I won't even put Mr. Okujeta Blacko out. Mm. That's why I asked the question that even without any of that, you're sitting outside. Somebody paid by the taxpayer, MP mm. minister, mm. says that I have enough resources to buy these hotels at this rate because I own one uh, hotel in in, in Kweu, cool. thereabouts. You know, mm. and we should be quiet because oh, you're saving us. That's, it shouldn't happen. The, 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 that opportunity festival should not even exist. I'm yet to cite any report indicative of the fact that these hotels have not, been, have not been performing. Good. We need to cite that report. Yeah. And for which reason they need a strategic investor right. to be in there. Right. You see, so that would depersonalize the yeah. whole transaction. Yeah. But for the optics, it is not good. Yeah. It is not good for the image of the president, the vice president, the entirety of party in government. It is not. And you see, scandals of this nature coming up in an election year would definitely affect your chances in the 2024 elections because now people will want to say, how come only a few will want to dominate and take over the resources that ought to be for, for, for ordinary Ghanaian for and more than. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just, it's just mind-boggling where we've got into where they in there. You don't even know which scandal so to you, discuss. So you, I mean, given that the president's um, response to, like you said, it will be uncharacteristics of the of the president mm -hmm. to respond yeah given that is our hope relying solely on labor union to force the president to ensuring that this deal does not go through that is the last resort mm -hmm. and the the threat they have put out there i think that message has been sent forcefully to the presidency right and maybe they will have to hold a cabinet meeting on this mm -hmm. and discontinue right because if, if he were to be in opposition, for example, and he's not in government yeah. and he's getting this, I think and it was that a competitive conflict bid. of interest Other people, have other yeah. companies, and there, there's a fair scoring system. Mm -hmm. You can see what, how this uh, Rock City got X uh, figure. and that, that is But then people won't complain. No. But everything is done clandestine. You know, everything is covered. Then it means you have a hidden agenda. You see, before they might have gotten to this level, the kind of money you would have expended greasing people's palms along even the line. Even to force them to sell. Yes. Even when, if they are oh, not. Oh, yes. Look, I am, I am aware of some information to the effect that, look, this became a banter at mm. the cabinet. Wow. Yes. And at another level, others were interested in this particular deal. And, and they, they were, were blocked. Not, yes. Oh. So, so it was a kind of banter. I think, and I'm sure I probably, understand. Yeah. I think I now understand why when he mounts platforms, he speaks like that. That we will never hand over power uh. to the NDC. He knew what he was saying because he thinks he's going to capture hotels and and will be in power forever. No, it's only the Ghanaian people who will give you that power. And when they give you that power, better cherish it and guard their resources jealously, else they will use the same thumb. We, we are going to be sorted it. Use the same thumb to kick you out. Now, speaking of same government mm. and their presidential candidates, uh, how does this... I think oh, I want to remember the person who said this, that it's as though there is you know, an agenda <laughs> to make sure Baumia loses the election and loses it like, really, really badly. Mm. Are you mm. part mm. of that school of thought? Yes, I, I, I am one of those who uh, have been, I've been looking at that issue in a very cynical manner. That is the president really, really mm. or genuinely for Baumier's win? Because if he were, mm. the things that have been happening, no, there's no way, unless maybe the president, they have something else underneath their feet that we are not aware of. That will make him and the Tabaumio win the elections. If that is not the case, and this is what they've been putting out there mm. as a right foot, you know, up there, I think that they are getting it wrong. Genuinely, maybe he doesn't really want him to win. But maybe that is a cynical look yeah, of, of that. So. Because yeah. if you look at the scandals that, you know, Peak keep, election year. keep coming yeah. up, um... They are in this together. Mm. Um, I always tell my students, 
if you I give you presentation, mm -hmm. I tell you corporate damage, corporate benefit. We sail together or we sink together. Mm -hmm. So that is why it was quite surprising and very uh, immature political on the part of the vice president to suggest that he was the mate and someone was a driver. Mm. That was politically but, uh, the mate, unstrategic. Yeah, the mate can order a uh, finance ministry to pay nurses mm. yeah. uh, their money. I mean, like, but I don't know if Bahamir doesn't know when he's lying. I honestly don't get it because uh, you don't have the power, but somehow you're able to tell finance ministry mm. that, look, pay these guys because it's not good for my campaign. Yeah. <laughs> And obviously, whatever so is happening... So you're not a mate? You are not a mate. You are not a mate. Not at all. And he, sh he just shot himself in the foot because mm. that particular speech that he gave out there, that is what caught the attention of the media. Yeah. The mate and the driver analysis. Yeah. And it did not go down well. Mm. Uh, I think Imani Africa did some poll on this and that the negative sentiment against that speech yeah. rose from 10 to 30-something percent. And it was very bad. So he's trying to make amends. But unfortunately, day in, day out, you know, as he tries to turn the corner, something else comes, and it is what? Derailing the fortunes of, of, of the campaign that he intends to do or he's been doing. It's just quite unfortunate for him. I, I pity him. And uh, he himself, the advice I gave their team is that, look, go out there, bring out the tapes from 2016 down to 20-something. Sit down, watch all. Find out the kinds of things he's been saying and he said. And find a thin line between all of this. So that you project yourself differently. Because whatever you say today, <laughs> there is an antithesis of it yes. that happened. Yes. So it, it derails your campaign. No matter what miracles Abuaji and Ko will be mm. saying, mm. it is not working. That is why I said, he whom the gods want to destroy, they first make mad. Right. As of now, the government in its entirety have not accepted the fact that they caused the mess that we find ourselves. Yeah. It's always been Russia, invasion of Ukraine, and then and, you are still and, talking and, about and COVID. And now they are even working with these I, 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 hypotheses that, oh, if it were NDC, it would have been worse. If it were, I mean... I mean, that is a very incoherent thought anybody will put out there and don't forget NDC were hit by crisis yes two main crises power outages and the implementation of the single spine that in itself created a huge wage bill for the government they did not anticipate that they were going to get there but you know one thing that people are silent on in terms of crisis it was at that time, uh, the financial crisis, mm. the global financial yes. crisis. We were hit by that. We were hit by the, but for some reason, it, we've been silent on it. I mean, I can't imagine NPP being in power in 2008 and being hit by the global financial crisis of, what, 2009? And not using that because, I mean, Russia, Ukraine, look at where they are. Look at how many years they have rather, ra they wrote on this. In their campaign I to wonder talk about why this. they don't add Israel invasion of Gaza. Gaza, well, because maybe they, they, because that maybe could also cause the oil prices to, to yeah. rise. But we are a net exporter of oil, right. so even if the prices go up, you we make more revenue. Up, but, yes. but that is where we find ourselves. There is but, no but, way, doc, nobody. Okay, yeah. but Doc, what about Doctor Baumia when he goes on the uh, uh, tour mm. right? and he, you know? the issue he says his own questions and answered them. I mean, he talked about the issue of taxing churches which was not a conversation anybody has had brought up he introduces himself mm. and says that he doesn't believe that churches should be taxed but rather they should be given in incentives and pay because they, mm. they build schools and mm. hospitals and mm. whatnot now he receives a backlash that how do we pay churches then comes back and says i was joking okay. when you heard that sitting there what did you think in that moment like what what is he doing that was quite childish on the spot uh, pardon me, it was quite childish on this. But I asked the same question. Uh, what brought that particular topic that yeah. he was discussing? Is it the case that somebody is out there saying that the churches must be taxed? For which reason that was the only topic that he went out there to talk about? Mm -hmm. I think that, you see, the bigger picture is the fact that Adabamia is bereft of message. Mm. 
he is bereft of mercy. And so what he's trying to do is to micromanage his campaign. He goes out there, looks at the atmosphere, and says that, well, it appears this topic is germane <laughs> to these people, so let me talk about it this right, way. Right. And then there is a backlash. Wow. Let me talk about it, and then there is a backlash. You see, you went out there trying to do flamboyant campaign, Asking these nurses students to ask a question. question. Open. I don't think they will do that again. <laughs> they will not. <laughs> I don't think they will do that You again. see, all this while it has been propaganda on yeah. air. Yeah. Oh, that we have restored the allowances that this one can yeah. This young lady says, for three years. Since I came, three, I have yes, not received I have one. not received yeah. anything. It's huge. Yeah. Uh, the, the embarrassment. And these are their own people, by the measure. way. They call them TESCON. Like they are members of NPP on campus. So she's even a member of the upside. And now we hear she's been receiving some threats right. here and there. Yes. It's just quite unfortunate. unfortunate. You see, because people's uh, uh, resources are at stake and yeah. they just did not see that coming. And you see, people have phones. Yeah. You do not know who is recording what. Yeah. Because if they had the means of stopping that, they would, they would have done so. Ask everybody else not to send anything away. Yeah. But there is a jack. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Yeah. What makes you think that the person you say is Tescon is indeed Tescon? And he believes or she believes in the philosophy that you're projecting out there. Mm. I think that, unfortunately, Dr. Baumia appears not to be a politician. Mm. I dare say that he's not a politician. So, now that he's allowed, you see, at first he was so comfortable sitting before an audience or standing before them and demonstrating A, B, C, and D without answering any question. <laughs> and that is what the MPP projected out there. Mm. And that is what sold him. Yeah. That's why he won the 2016 elections. For them. Not yes. president. I always say it. Yes. He won the elections. Yeah. That is the more reason why he is suffering now. Yeah. Because it is his voice. Yeah. You see, the tapes that are on the internet. Yeah. Not the president. Of course, the president, he also said quite a few things. But in terms of the, the hope that Ghanaians had, it was because of the Tabaumi. Yeah. Because, you see, um, the president has not had the goodwill of the people in those years because of his style of politicking. Yeah. And so it was more or less like a, a damaged product. It took the Tabaumi to resurrect that product. And as a team, they were able to win the elections in 2016. Yeah. So it, he is receiving the backlash. He is now receiving the pay of the things that he said. Fair. Because the kind of criticism that he leveled against the previous government, you have performed in a worse manner. Only for you to tell us that you are the mate, this man is a driver. <laughs> and the driver comes to say that everything he should be, he should be held responsible. It's not going to work. It is not going to work. It is a team. When the CD was stable, around 2017, 2018, and he came out, he mentioning that, that we have arrested the city and yes. have given the key to IG. Yes. <laughs> mentioning and touting yeah. the names yeah. of the economic management team. team. Yeah. Professor Jan Bafo, mm -hmm. Alan Chiremante, <laughs> Senior Minister of Safo Mafo, Dr. Akote Free. What a solid team. Yeah. Can you remember any of the names of the EMT of yeah. the NBC? And people and laughed. Responded, no. Yes. And they laughed. Like yes. they laughed. It's almost like it's laughable to even think that and then is an economic management team existed. Yes. They don't even and know any of those uh, the, those people. Yeah. And so such <laughs> such manner by which he ridiculed yeah. the previous government, their assigns and their agent and those ministers and other things. You see, he's receiving a backlash. A a, a hundredfold of that because he spoke in a hundredfold i mean let's be frank here because uh, for instance if i listen to dr baumier's lectures mm -hmm. right at the central university you know, and all those places you would think that when given power the city would come back to two cities or three cities yeah and it never did no it never did it rather and it's now 15 without even us paying our foreign debts we are yeah. not dr Tuahine, that bank my yeah. analyst uh, yeah. this thing, said, I think last month on Joy, that the way the CD, we are in May, yeah. he said that in April, the way the CD is depreciating, or the way the dollar is appreciating against the CD, yeah. by June, we'll be hitting 15 CDs. Yeah, and it's before June, we're already at 15. Yeah. And, and you see, 
As if, as I quoted earlier, they are on the path of destruction. Yeah. They are on the path of doom. And you see, when your time is due, whatever you do, yeah. have you seen someone that, you know, is, got, is, 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 is getting drowned in the sea? Mm. And there is a baobab tree in the midst of the sea. Yeah, clinging. It's not... <laughs> It is only when he clung yeah. on that tree that the, the sea. Yeah. <laughs> you see, the sea just swept it off. Yeah. Yeah. So it appears to me that, as I said, he whom the gods want to destroy, they first make mad. They are on that trajectory. They are on that trajectory because everything that they do is just like in the World Cup. When luck is on your side, yeah. the batting wins. You may be a good team, but because you have no luck, whatever you do becomes a mistake. Look at the prices of items on the market. You just cannot afford. And it worries me that ordinary food product, the things that we use daily, tomatoes, pepper, I mean, I now got to know why those selling kinkai in Accra saying that yeah, the no pepper now even sell. Yeah, you pay for pepper, yeah. Because... Last time, I went to Legon Market, Campus Market, two weeks ago or three weeks. Three pieces of tomatoes, one onion, and 15 pieces of pepper, mm -hmm. 20 cities. And I asked myself, how do the poor survive? Mm -hmm. How are they surviving? Look, what we've got into, it is just that we have understood democracy, electoral democracy, and that if we don't like a particular government, the means that they came, we use the same means mm. to ask them to leave. Because, Bridget, should someone or a group of people undertake to usurp the authority of this government, they will get support. Yeah. Yeah. But we have passed that level. Yeah. You see, we have passed that level. The, the constitution that we are operating with, well, some say it has... Mm. It is a source of stability for all of us. Maybe we need some tweaking here and there. Yeah. But the point where the civil society, you know, organization, uh, the labor unions, I think they should be up and doing. Imagine that they want to go on a doomsaw vigil. Yeah. And the police goes out there yeah. trying to frustrate them using yeah. this very distant. Yeah. Yeah. The doomsaw, you the policeman, are you not yeah. affected by this? Do you even have a generator? You that you are sleeping in those small, small rooms with all the heat. Yeah. Imagine when there is light off, you guys will be sleeping outside. So if you have an ordinary citizen who is taking that particular challenge to draw the attention of government, why are you trying to frustrate mm. those individuals? I think that the better they take that injunction from the court, the good, it, is, it is good that they do that. Mm. It is for all and well, why, why are they so... Uh, I don't want to say, use the word afraid, but why are they so hesitant in allowing citizens, at the very least, if they are not even getting what they mm. want, express their frustrations by hitting the street because I cannot even count the number of demonstrations that they did while in opposition. Countless. Why? Why are they, why are they so ha hang on not allowing them exercise that right? Why? In an election year, if things of that nature go on, ordinary citizens... They, they will be averted to some of these things, and right. that will be a negative publicity for a government that is seeking a re-election. Okay. So there is a political anger to that, no two ways about that. But why the police is using that, I hope the judge in that court refuses that injunction. I hope okay. he or she does that, because Mr. Kokubaku will tell you that ugly noises yeah. is better than yeah. asking people to bottle in Which how they what feel. Which is happening. Yes. You see, allow them to vent their spleen. Yeah. Some will say it is even a keep fit exercise. <laughs> you understand? What yeah. is... What, so, you see, this all borders on freedom of speech, yeah. the opportunity to demonstrate as citizens when things are not going right. right. It tells you the difference between your government and the other government. Yeah that you are too opposed to divergent views. You think that we must all kowtow to your views. Look at the way 
we have defended that we are not in Dumso. Yeah. That is very and insulting to say the to least. Call it Dumso. Dumso. We refuse to call you it see, Dumso. Is, is and it? and you had the minister will say, go ahead. if you if you think it's Dumso, then go and do your own timetable. Like that is very disrespectful. This is a very person they are intending to make the vice president running mate, my goodness. Why has it taken so long for him to announce running? Like what's the what, what the delay? What 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 do you what's the implications of that? I, I'm okay. Means he's struggling to find someone. No, he's not. Okay. I think that the person that about me is for the owners of the party are not getting that right mm. that's why i always say that dr Baumia is just a tenant mm. the land owners the the owners of the building are there right. he has just been given the opportunity to take the mantle of the party he is just a tenant trying to be a landlord mm. because the other aspect I have said that. Well, maybe it is the Baumian principle that he is churning out. What is the Baumian principle? The, van, the running mate is just a mate. Mm -hmm. So if that is the case, then the one who is the presidential candidate is the most important. The running mate is inconsequential. But here is the case. The characteristics of the Tabaumia himself are deficient. Mm -hmm. He has so many deficient characteristics. And so you need to get your running mate as what early as possible. The, what are some of those deficient One, characters? You see, already you are carrying the burden of the entire government mm. for, for all the bad things that the government has done. You are, right. carrying, you are carrying that. Two, truth be told, this is a Christian-dominated country. Right. No matter what you do, I've said that, definitely there will be some Muslims who vote for him. There will be some Muslims who vote against him. Yeah. Some Christians will vote for him because they have their party as MPP. Yeah. And other Christians will vote against him. Yeah. No two ways about that. But whatever you look at it, in whichever form, this is a Christian-dominated country. Right. So obviously you are going to take a Christian as your running mate. Yeah. You have to do that early enough so that you'll mm. be able to, you know, to give a right. posturing that will eliminate some of the criticisms you know, that will be put out there. Right. You are not doing that. So already you have a shortfall there. Because if you look we're, at it from, 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 from you look at it, obviously more Christians will want to vote for Mr. Mahama. Sure. Obviously. But you don't we don't need to do religious you know, politics. Which he hasn't done. It is Dr. Baumia who constantly yes. reminds us who so, he so, so, is on, yes. on this. Yeah. The fourth one, of course, is the tribal thing. Mm. You can't throw that in away. People vote on tribal grounds. Some people vote on tribal grounds. The, the common denominator is the economy. Mm. But others are motivated to vote for you just because they have a tribal affiliation. They may be in a minority. They may also be in a majority. You come from a minority tribe. So that in itself is also what? A deficiency. Yeah. So you need to have your, your running mate so you on can, board yeah. so that you can complement mm. each other. Okay. As for the running mate, I have said that there is no way they will get someone of the same stature as Professor Nana Jinnopokal. Mm. They don't have that. They can't get it. Yeah. <laughs> because the woman herself is, is bigger than all the presidential candidates. Not vice presidential candidates. Yes, including his yes. Her own party. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so I so it is for <laughs> good reason that Mr. Mahama you know, sure. obviously, you know, repeated that sure. particular decision. Right. So you see that the real owners of the party are not allowing Dr. Baumio to pick the very person that he likes. Because, to be frank with you, the character trait of Dr. Napo and that of Dr. Baumia yeah. are parallel. Are parallel, right. Thank you. We are post yeah. apart. I told you, like, we, there's so much to talk about. We need to bring Dr. Jonathan Asantiochi back. Uh, yeah, uh, political analyst. I told you, he drove all the way from UCC <laughs> to be We didn't even talk about that. Uh, yes. No, we didn't talk about But he, I, I believe there's some truth in that. I believe that what he's saying happened, except that mm. it would embarrass the government, and that's why they are trying to shut him up. What's your thoughts on this quick one? Before Whichever we way you look at it, I felt that government should have been silent. Let your golden silence be your watchword. Right. Arresting him, you are rather triggering. Mm. 
and it will have a political consequences for government. Mm -hmm. And um, that was to scare. So he says it detonated some uh, dynamite, right, mm -hmm. in 2016 yeah. elections. It was to obviously scare people because that is the stronghold of the NDC. But you see, yeah. what even surprises me is that where were, they, where were the security? Yeah. It was NDC that was in power. How were they able to Do escape that. all checks? Yeah. That they were able to do things of that nature over there. Wow. Then it means that the security of the NDC government then was, was weak. weak. Right. Was weak. That is, a, that is something that they must avert their minds to. Right. Apart from that, today the man is no longer a member of the MPP. Yeah. And if you look at the issue politically, I think that the government, whoever advised them, is fired. Okay. Because Hobson will not be quiet. Right. So you just need to ignore him. Right. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us uh, and for driving all the way from Cape because I so appreciate it. Uh, yeah, leave your comments on all our social media platforms and don't stop speaking about the issues. Uh, the SML scandal, we must make sure that this is terminated. Uh, uh, Money is lost, um, uh, persons involved are uh, counted uh, or prosecuted. We, I mean, we don't believe that Anadu would do that, so hopefully the next government will do that. Also, the hotel will be stopped. The Labour Union, they are, they are going to put their uh, work on the line to make sure that that doesn't happen. So, and Dr. Jonathan Santiotri has given us you know, the implications of not, uh, of, of not stopping it, and uh, especially in an election year. And what Dr. Baumia's uh, chances are, we'll be back next week. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for staying to Pen Dream TV. Really appreciate your time. Please, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so for us. Hit the notification bell for more updates. Like and also share to other members to watch as well. You can also leave a comment after watching or send us a voice note on our WhatsApp number, which is showing you on your screen as well. Thank you. Uh, there you come, uh, I'm in the TV, uh, so far, so good. Se open online portal e wo Ghana. Ah ni pa share, ni pa follow, ni pa comment here. To my best of knowledge, without any biases, I uh, pending TV.